Hello everybody, this is Dr. John Brimhall with Doug Grant standing by, our famous nutritionist is going to go over the nitric oxide pathway and the new nutrition that uh, we've been working together to bring to fruition here. It's pretty exciting, we're, we're gearing up for homecoming already, it's going to be called Integrative Medical Outcomes for this next uh, January and it's going to be pretty fun. Uh, Doug is going to be speaking, I'm going to be speaking, Dr. Brett, uh, we have some uh, working with Jonathan Walker who will be on next Tuesday night talking about peripheral neuropathy and the exciting protocol he's put together for that. Uh, we have microcirculation, a famous doctor is going to be speaking on that as well. Uh, we have biocranial, uh, a doctor is going to be speaking on cranial manipulation for us at, at that time. Uh, you saw the email that came out yesterday, or it should have been from Dr. Childs, the medical doctor who is talking about diabetes and hormones and pathways and, and uh, all, all the many things he has going on. But nitric oxide fits into every aspect of this and uh, Dr. Childs has done a lot of research on that. He's given a lot of input to, to Doug and I. Uh, Dr. Walker also uses nitric oxide in his peripheral neuropathy program. You're not going to want to miss that next Tuesday. One of our doctors heard him speak and bought his step-by-step -step procedure of how to implement the niche of peripheral neuropathy in the practice and honestly from July 1st to July 22nd he collected an extra seventy thousand dollars helping people different than he'd ever been able to before. So that's next Tuesday. Tonight is nitric oxide. We're going to turn the time over to Doug Grant. Doug, take it away. Hey, thanks a lot Dr. John and uh, welcome everyone to tonight's talk. I'm very excited uh, this evening. Uh, to talk about uh, this subject because this is one of those crossover subjects. Um, me and Dr. John have go back a long ways and we were together way back a couple decades ago and then I went more into the performance uh, field when he stayed uh, and helped uh, thousands and thousands of patients within his field and we've always uh, been able to see each other's work and uh, be able to, to communicate, but it's exciting to be back together. But this is one of the areas that has such a great uh, overlap that uh, whether you're working with uh, very, very sick patients, whether it's people that are just wanting to improve their health, anti-aging, people with subluxations that are just keep coming back, um, or athletes, whether they be weekend warriors or the, the top athletes in the entire world, Olympic athletes and the professional athletes that we work with. And so we're very excited about it and before I start I do want to uh, give a little plug to the great homecoming seminar coming up in January and I uh, would highly recommend everyone sign up for that. That is just a great time. It's our uh, once a year big bash where we bring out all the guns and Dr. Broomhall's uh, cordially invited uh, myself and the company and uh, Clark uh, with Thrive to be there and I think we've created a great, great team and uh, we're really honored to be able to be a part of that and uh, just highly recommend that if you go to one seminar uh, this uh, coming year that it be the homecoming. So let's go ahead and get started. You know the topic today is nitric oxide, uh, what scientists and Nobel Prize winners say the greatest medical breakthrough is in decades. Now that's a huge statement. Now if you think about it, the greatest medical breakthrough in decades, and uh, it's a pretty bold statement, but it's one that, that uh, can be backed up because of the research, and that's why they say it. So let's take a look at what is the most important factor, according to doctors and scientists, in order to reach optimal health. And I know there's arguments about this, but I'm talking about a general consensus and the general consensus is increased circulation without increased blood pressure. Increased circulation without increased blood pressure. So if we can increase the circulatory uh, actions of the blood and of the system, of the lymphatic system, and be able to do that without increasing blood pressure, then that can help reduce the risk of almost every major disease today. So we've got to look at how we do it. Now how in the world did we come up with that statement that that's the most important thing? Well the Global Burden of Disease Study in 2010 was the most comprehensive and systematic analysis of causes of death undertaken to date. Now that's important to know. Most comprehensive analysis of why do people die sooner than they're supposed to. 
And what they found out was is that the number one way to determine if a person is going to die young, have a poor quality of life, be able, uh, actually not be able to enjoy the time that they have here, is based on blood pressure, high blood pressure. The number one risk factor in the world as far as being able to easily predict um, longevity or I guess mortality. And so we know from this study that high blood pressure was the largest factor and that was really interesting. So we know that conditions caused by poor circulation and high blood pressure is heart disease, the number one killer in the world, diabetes. Dr. John talked about uh, peripheral neuropathy and the, the importance of handling those issues. It comes back to circulation, stroke, cancer, even things that aren't major diseases, headaches, cramps, the cramping muscles, low energy, excess weight gain, slow recovery from injury or exercise, and poor physical and sexual performance. And that's all caused by poor circulation and poor high blood pressure. And in order to understand our conversation tonight, we have to understand that we need to talk about endothelial health. And if we have good endothelial health, we have good cardiovascular health. In other words, the endothelium, that inner lining in our blood vessels, and how it interacts with the body. Now, and when you have blood flow, as you all know, doctors, that um, the actual arteries and uh, blood vessels themselves can expand and contract. But what makes them expand and contract is nitric oxide. And nitric oxide actually is a gas that's a master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. And whenever the endothelium is is, is penetrated with this nitric oxide, then you get vasodilation. You get the, the enlargement of the blood vessel. But when we have a problem of the endothelial cells starting to be covered up because of our poor diets, because of stress, um, we get our first decade, a little bit of the cover up, third decade, fourth decade, 30s and 40s, all of a sudden we have complete endothelial dysfunction. We have the accumulation of cholesterols and plaques that ends up leading to a lesion or a rupture that we all know can cause, uh, is one of the leading causes of death. So nitric oxide was uh, in the early 90s and actually even in the late 90s, early 2000s, it was really being hyped because of the research they found on it. It was actually named the molecule of the year and rightfully so because we thought that nitric oxide was actually just a, a harmful gas. We didn't realize the body used it to actually keep us young, to be able to keep the endothelial cells functioning to where they could expand and allow the pressure, the added circulation to come through without putting the back pressure on the heart. And so nitric oxide became an extremely important subject for us to understand. And what we understood in the 90s was that the way that the body makes nitric oxide is through the L-arginine conversion, and we call it the classical pathway now. And simply, you take L-arginine, which is, as we all know, is an amino acid, one of the, the 20 amino acids, and we, this amino acid will then be... Uh, taken by an enzyme called nitric oxide synthase, a lot of people call it arginine synthase, and that reaction between the enzyme and arginine creates nitric oxide. The nitric oxide then all of a sudden increases the actual size and the ability, the flexibility and uh, permeability of the blood vessels. That is a huge understanding. We've known it. We've used it with patients, heart disease patients, the cardiovascular system, and used tremendously. American Heart Association, you know, got wind of it, even used it. Columbia University did tons of research on it. Uh, athletes all over the world would be using it. And we know that, it, that arginine does that, that it actually can increase the nitric oxide levels and uh, helps speed recovery, regulate healthy kidney function, supports healthy immune and hormone function, regulates blood pressure, so we were talking about, regulates cholesterol levels, blood flow, healthy artery function, and sexual health support, and energy levels. We know that all of these things, including muscle development, 
are benefited by nitric oxide release from L-arginine. A lot of uh, the world is familiar with Viagra, and really all Viagra is, if you take it, look at it from a, a chemical structure, if you take, break down the biochemistries of Viagra, it's nothing more than a nitric oxide producer. If you look at the pathway here of Viagra and what it comes through, it basically helps to create nitric oxide, bringing in uh, arginine and other factors, and uh, it just forces the reaction versus allowing the reaction to occur naturally if there is enough arginine or other, as we'll talk about in a minute, amino acids and that in the bloodstream. It forces it, which can override the system and cause issues if the, the reaction holds too long. So we know that nitroxide is about blood flow, and um, L-arginine, in a recent study at Columbia University, they actually called it the magic bullet for the cardiovascular system because they found that if we can help the blood vessels expand, that when the heart does beat, then it won't create that high blood pressure and it keeps it permeable so that we actually are able to get better blood flow, less pressure on the heart, and more nutrients to the tissues for recovery, for building, for performance, for everything. So most of you doctors, I know, know what I've already said so far. You know, this isn't new news for people in our industry, whether it be in the industry to help patients or to for athletes. That's all new. I didn't want this to be a Me Too webinar tonight. I wanted to bring something to you that uh, the high majority of the public and professionals, health professionals, um, don't realize. And so the, now we're going into that. I hope this is really uh, what uh, allows you to feel that you got your money's worth tonight because uh, your time is valuable. So what you're not told about L-arginine and nitric oxide response is this, is that we know nitric oxide is released extremely well in younger people. And, but what happens is, is most people don't talk about the studies. This one was done in 2012 in Nutrition and Metabolism by Alvarez, which is a great researcher. And they did a study and showed that the older you are, the less arginine increases nitric oxide. There wasn't significant change observed in the, el the older groups, and you're like, well, what's older? We're talking 35, 40, 45, you know, uh, age groups, so not even that old. But all of a sudden, they're not getting the nitric oxide levels uh, that they should be getting and that the younger people get. And uh, one of the PubMed searches shows that, that a nitric oxide has been implicated in increasing nitric oxide formation in the body, but doesn't appear to be reliable occurring phenomena. And uh, the, there's two reasons for this, and this is the, the knowledge tonight. The body needs two other amino acids that belong with arginine in what's called the urea cycle. It needs the amino acids citrulline and ornithine. In fact, citrulline actually lasts longer, is even better. And then if the body has arginine, citrulline, and ornithine, it's going to boost nitric oxide levels no matter what your age. But if you also bring in an oxidative support, and really what I'm talking about is an antioxidant through a different pathway that we'll discuss, you're able to boost nitric oxide levels consistently no matter the age and be able to get the benefits of cardiovascular health through being able to make the blood vessels more flexible and being able to help with blood pressure and all of the things that, that bring to increased circulation. Arginine needs citrulline and ornithine, and this is just uh, one of the processes that, that helps you understand it, that arginine and then to the right, ornithine and citrulline at the bottom all work together within the urea cycle to create nitric oxide. If you follow the graph down, and that increases nitric oxide. So when you only have one, you're not going to get the full benefit, especially as you get older, because your body many times doesn't have the other amino acids to bind with it in the cycle to be able to produce nitric oxide. And that's one thing that's not talked about hardly anywhere today. And it's important to know that you need those, especially as we get older. When taken in the right dosages, and that's the, another factor, it's important to understand what the research shows as dosages. These amino acids, arginine, citrulline, and ornithine, have multiple beneficial pharmacological effects, such as reduction in the risk of vascular and heart diseases, reduction in erectile dysfunction, improvement in immune response, inhibition of gastric hyperacidity. And so the demonstrated anti-aging benefits of these three show greater potential than any other nutraceutical agent ever previously discovered 
according to the Journal of Advanced Research. That's crazy. I mean, that's a huge statement. You don't hear people like that saying things like that very often. But uh, the, the greatest nutraceutical agent ever discovered, that's just, that's just a great statement to show how important this subject is tonight. We're not talking about just another nutrient that has its place. We're talking about the ability to increase nitric oxide and citrulline, for those of you that uh, can remember back to, to organic chemistry, citrulline, the, the place that it's found the most actually is in watermelon. And so they did studies with watermelon and that high, had high citrulline levels, and the study showed that um, they had to take so much watermelon in so that they could ma monitor how much citrulline, that it's very efficiently converted to arginine, the precursor for nitric oxide in the system, and actually lasts longer. And so we know that citrulline is an extremely important factor here. And uh, for those of you that have uh, been away for a little while, uh, we've launched the new OptiNitric formula uh, just this last month, and it is, it is going extremely well. And what it has is it has the arginine, the ornithine, and the citrulline. We actually put a little other special molecule in there, glutamine alpha ketoglutarate. But one of the keys is, is we just don't use arginine. We use a special alpha ketoglutarate arginine that's a time-released arginine that goes with the citrulline and ornithine. It's a very, very specific formula. We'd originally developed it for the professional athletic world because we wanted to increase nitric oxide levels dramatically to happen quickly. And uh, it's a great formula. And talking with Dr. Brimhall, we talked through some of the numbers. And uh, it's just something that we knew we needed to bring out. And so we're really excited about it and uh, being able to, to bring it to the market today. So OptiNitric is here and available. But let's now, now that we know we can boost nitric oxide levels no matter what the age, we still have another factor that's not talked about very much. And that is that the body can create nitric oxide not just through the normal pathway of arginine nitric oxide synthase pathway, the one that the world knows of. There's a whole other pathway independent of that, that increases nitric oxide levels, and it's super exciting. And a, little people, a lot of people call it the reverse pathway. I call it the, the nitrate pathway, uh, the nitrates that are found in fruits and vegetables. Basically, what happens is when we consume a lot of dark greens, uh, the vet, certain fruits and vegetables like uh, beets, uh, greens like arugula, spinach, those types of things, uh, rhubarb, these very specific uh, fruits and vegetables, uh, cherries, they actually have a lot of nitrates in them. And when you consume these foods, that nitrate, which is an O3 molecule, okay, so three, it goes into the system, into the stomach, and it actually comes back up through the saliva glands as NO2. So now it becomes, NO2 is called nitrite. So it goes from a nitrate, which is a triple molecule to a nitrite, NO2, out of the saliva, we re-swallow it, and then it converts to NO1, or nitric oxide. So from NO3 to NO2 to NO1, and it's an exciting pathway. We can measure it. We're coming out with some special tests soon to actually have you be able to show that and measure it just by sticking a, a thing in the mouth and boom, pop out, and it tells you how much nitric oxide levels you have. We'll have it ready for homecoming. And so we now know that we can increase nitric oxide levels both ways, through the nitrate 3 2, one pathway and also through the arginine, citrulline, ornithine, urea pathway. Following that, we know that we can boost the body's levels, increase circulation dramatically in the body, and do it by helping to expand and create flexibility out of, the, out of the blood vessels. Now that's important because there's a lot of things out there that can increase circulation. And microcirculation, there's stimulation, there's electronic stimulation, there's some great machines out there. I know Dr. Grimhall is a big fan of some of them and, and uh, very important stuff. But um, we know that we, that understanding this third path, the second pathway with the, the nitrate, nitrite, that we're able to now not just increase circulation, but to increase the flexibility of the blood vessels, which is a whole other world. And the oxidative stress to the endothelium. Hey, yes. Doug, 
I want to buy butter in just a minute. You said that so smoothly. I'm not sure everybody caught what you said. That we now have the ability to measure this, and that you're going to we have that available right through OHS. And this is another thing you're going to go over at our Integrative Medical Symposium here in January. Would you review that again? Because that is such a big deal. If we can measure it, we can prove what we're doing, and even before the symptomatic relief, people can see the the increase of levels. Would you review that again, please? Sure. Basically, we knew in the professional athletic world that if we could get an athlete on the court with high nitric oxide levels, they could get more energy and performance from the same amount of oxygen and be able to get more out of it without having to increase their VO2 max or their oxygen consumption. That's huge. That's huge. And you probably saw a lot of that in the, the last Olympics where people were working on nitric oxide. And so we've created a stick that it looks just like a it looks like a urinalysis dipstick, but it's not. It's it's just a stick, and you'll stick it in your mouth on the back of your tongue, where nitric, where nit nitrite NO2 is released, and we're able to measure it, and it will turn the color a colorimetric uh, portion of the stick darker purple based on the nitric oxide levels. So if your nitric oxide levels are high, you just take in optinitric and fruit and veggie you'll be able to notice that within you know, uh, an hour, 40 minutes to an hour, that you have high levels. You can see that it actually works. You can compare it to other companies' products. And you'll see those levels be high, and you're able to then know that you're, you, know, you have very good flexibility with blood vessels and so on. And there's some other great machines out there that can do it, but that's a simple way to do it because you can do it on the run. And that'll be available. We'll be uh, launching it uh, no later than the, the actual homecoming. And so the, the, we know that oxidative stress uh, causes endothelial dysfunction. We know that. The research is strong on it. So one of the other reasons that straight arginine isn't the best route all the time, you must have ornithine and citrulline, is that we must have an antioxidant benefit to combat the oxidative stress on the endothelial system or we're not going to get the nitric oxide benefit. We know that nitric oxide, we can, with it, we can help lower blood pressure that we know that can help with platelets. And we know that through the dietary nitrate pathway that it can happen. And the research is really strong on it. Although this might be new to a lot of people, this research is extremely strong. We've known it for quite a few years, uh, since at least 2008, that inorganic nitrate in fruits and vegetables improves mitochondrial efficiency in humans. And I know this one really got Dr. John excited because of the, the importance of the mitochondria in the body is that we can increase, like especially with a product like the fruit and veggie, the mitochondrial efficiency in humans, and it's doing it through this pathway, this nitrate, nitrite, nitric oxide pathway. We know that the food selection, based on high antioxidant levels, improves endothelial function and cardiovascular risk. I think a lot of you can see now where we came up with how we formulated our fruit and veggie formula is we did it based on the things that help increase nitric oxide and specific antioxidants for the blood to be able to help. Now, this is one of the studies from the uh, research done with athletes, the dietary nitrates. And remember, whenever you see dietary nitrates, just think fruits, vegetables, dark greens, dark fruits, beets, those types of things. The supplementation of these things reduces the O2 cost of low intensity exercise and enhances tolerance to high, high intensity exercise. In other words, whatever your fitness level is, if your nitric oxide level is up, you're going to go longer if it's low intensity. You're going to go harder and, and be able to perform more if you're doing high intensity. No difference, no change in your physical capability, just in change in nitric oxide. In, incredible, it's the only thing we've ever known, ever known, to give you more energy from the same amount of oxygen. Before, we had to increase oxygen, right? We, you have to increase oxygen, you have to increase VO2 max, that's the whole purpose. We can get more energy, more performance now from the same amount of oxygen. And uh, this was been done, proven with cyclers. Um, you'll remember in the last Olympics how many of them were out eating beets and drinking beet juice and stuff like that when really it's not even the best one to increase nitric oxide as far as fruits and vegetables. Uh, if you want to know what the number one food is just for funsies, um, it's uh, arugula. <laughs> so a juicier arugula. But anyways, 
dietary nitrate supplementation increasing the, the cycling times, I don't have to go into details on that, but it's just amazing what it does. But let's get back to health professionals. Hypertension affects nearly 78 million adults in the United States. 78 million adults. We know there's over 300 million people in the United States, but not adults. This is a high majority of adults in the United States has hypertension. If we can increase nitric oxide levels and the flexibility of the blood vessels, then we're going to be able to improve dramatically those blood pressure and hypertension levels. So even if you're using some of the great machines that are out there that I know Dr. John loves and has talked a lot about, and I know there are seminars and webinars coming up on some of them too, so I don't want to, uh, to go into too much detail and blow those seminars, those webinars, but those great machines are only going to work better if we can create flexibility in the blood vessels, and machines can't do that. They can increase circulation, but we've got to, through nutrition, increase the flexibility so as that circulation increases, we're not increasing blood pressure, we're actually lowering blood pressure because then we have that, that flexibility factor. Um, from the human clinical study, we know that the fruit and veggie plus powder increases nitric oxide. It's not a, uh, yeah, we think it does and, you know, check it out. We, we have absolute human clinical proof of nitric oxide through the nitrate, nitrite, nitric oxide, 3 to one pathway increasing just on that formula. Um, the human clinical study, I want to touch something, especially since we got uh, Dr. John on tonight and we're, we're able to have him with us. You'll notice in this human clinical research study that if you look at the top here, the uh, first one, that we're able to inhibit mitochondrial ROS generation. ROS stands for reactive oxygen species. Uh, it's just another word, as you know, for, for a free radical. So it inhibits free radicals. If you go down one more from that, that we know that we can spike mitochondrial oxygen consumption. So, so get the power of what we're saying. We're increasing nitric oxide. We're inhibiting free radical generation in the mitochondria at the same time increasing the oxygen levels in the mitochondria. That's, that is huge. It, to be able to do all three of those with one formula, it is a mitochondrial um, party, if you would, as far as the benefits to the mitochondria. So we're extremely excited. It was the first human clinical study anywhere that uh, shows the biological effects of a natural whole food supplement in changes of oxidative and nitrosative stress markers. So we're really excited about that new human clinical study. The antioxidants that neutralize specific free radicals also clean the mitochondria and allow all arginine to work as it's supposed to. The reason that arginine, ornithine, and citrulline don't work as well as we get older, not just because they're most of the time not put together as a team, as, a, as they should be, the three of them, but also due to the oxidative stress, and I referred to that study earlier. So we know now that if you do the combination, I think you can see where we're going with this, of, of a high-powered antioxidant along with arginine, ornithine, and citrulline, you're going to have the highest nitric oxide boost available and keep the blood vessels flexible and it's just the, one of the most amazing, I think, breakthroughs for the cardiovascular system we've seen. The important facts to remember about nitric oxide tonight, because I know I've been going fast, is that L-arginine boosts nitric oxide and growth hormone if taken in dosages high enough. And that's very, very important, uh, doctors. Uh, good heavens, there's so many products on the market that are a joke because they don't have the levels, the, the do dosages needed to affect nitric oxide to be released or growth hormone to be released. You must have, based on the research, two to four grams delivered at the cell level to accomplish this. And I know a lot of people say, you know, need six or seven. No, that's because they're not delivering it. You got to remember, we're delivering this to the cell level, um, every single milligram in the formula. And so two to four grams. Each capsule of optonitric is over a thousand milligrams or one gram or just over a gram. So so basically, you can count it out as each peel, each capsule, is a gram of the arginine, ornithine, citrulline. So you take two capsules, that'll be a great little nitric oxide boost, or four of them if you want to really boost it like crazy. We use the arginine alpha ketoglutarate also for time release. It keeps levels higher longer, which is very important. Many times nitric oxide spikes, and then it comes right down. We've got to do things to keep them. 
the nutrients in the bloodstream longer and time release so we can keep nitric oxide levels up where they belong. L-arginine doesn't work well in 35 plus year olds without citrulline, ornithine, and antioxidants. Please take a note if, you're, if you only take one note tonight, this is the one. L-arginine does not work well in 35 plus year olds without citrulline, ornithine, and antioxidants. And so when you hear people say, oh, I see studies that arginine doesn't boost nitric oxide and so on, yeah, we're not, you can't keep treating the body with a single thing. The body is holistic and works in balance and harmony. We've got to provide everything that's needed in order for it to be able to work properly. And so we, we know that we need the rest of the amino acids in the urea cycle and we need the high potency antioxidants and nitrates to be able to work with it. That's what the body uses to keep the blood vessels flexible with nitric oxide. The nitrite pathway to produce nitric oxide is a great way to additionally increase NO or the nitrate pathway. Fruit and veggie plus is human clinical research showing it can boost it as we just showed. And so uh, we're really excited about that. What does it mean? If you look at the studies, I've seen, I've seen some studies and research to show circulation improvement up to 50%. And uh, this was with some serious cardiovascular patients, of course. Uh, but that is absolutely off the charts. And uh, when you combine this with some of your other therapies, health professionals, can you imagine the increased circulation? So if the patient has good nutrition coming in, they're eating a good, healthy diet with a lot of plant-based foods, and then you increase circulation, anywhere from 10 up to 50%, you're going to be delivering those nutrients that are in the blood. As long as they're eating a healthier diet, taking their, their, their supplements like they're supposed to, the whole food supplements, those nutrients are going to be rushing through the cells, increasing nitric oxide, being delivered to the tissues, helping to cleanse the body, helping to rebuild the body. That's the key. I don't care how much nutrition you've got in your body. If it's not being circulated to the tissues that need them, it's not going to do you any good. You can increase nitric oxide with all of your patients by making sure you cover all the bases through those two pathways. The arginine pathway that involves arginine, ornithine, and citrulline, that's in the optinitric with the time release, and the fruit and veggie plus. Now, if you want the ultimate, just straight up nitric oxide boost, um, you know, there's other nutrients that help with this also, but I'm just sticking to these two tonight uh, just be, um, because of time. These are really the two main factors. If you took fruit and veggie plus and you actually took the time at least once a day to juice, you know, and use a lot of the arugula, put a little beet in it and so on, along with two to four capsules of optinitric, you will have ultimate nitric oxide levels to be able to increase the flexibility of the blood vessels, lower, lower cardiovascular risk, increased performance. Uh, people that have issues in any type of performance, whether it's athletic or sexual, is going to have tremendous improvement because of the blood flow that we talked about before. So two capsules for basic nitric oxide production for circulation, that's, that's a healthy dose of research shows the formula will do it. Uh, four capsules uh, with the fruit and veggie if you want a blast. That's the high performance. Um, a lot of people take it before their uh, workouts, before their any type of performance. Um, if it's a serious cardiovascular patient, you know that they have hardening of the, of the, of the, the arteries and, and the veins, then you, know, you might want to do the higher dosage for a while. Um, this is a combination that I do every single day, and I don't think I would miss it for the world. There are other beneficial products for blood pressure and circulation. Um, the one didn't come up here that I wanted to mention that uh, a lot of you know that the EFA, especially the plant-based essential fatty acid formula, uh, the new research that just came out this last month on flaxseed showing it reduced blood pressure. So if you're trying to just reduce blood pressure, I'd combine the nitric oxide a cocktail, if you would, with the EFA because of it being an algae and a plant-based EFA. Um, Longevity, uh, this is a formula that we're going to actually uh, add a few more things to based on Dr. Brimhall's desires with K2, but it's already a great formula with whole food vitamin D and CoQ10, which is a great cardiovascular supplement. And then, of course, the digestion formula. Um, a lot of people say, well, why digestion? If you take the, a high-potency enzyme formula like digestion in between meals, 
you're going to digest out a lot of the undigested foods that are in the bloodstream that cause blood sludge, that cause poor circulation. So you take digestion between meals. And the other product that I tried to throw on there and I couldn't get the picture on there properly um, was one that a lot of people don't realize can help a lot, and that actually is uh, Dr. Brimhall's Optoadrenal. And I was mentioning it to someone the other day, and they're like, how in the world would optoadrenal help with circulation? Well, the reason it helps with circulation is when the adrenal glands are fatigued, they no longer can help produce the chemical reactions needed for blood flow and nitric oxide to actually take place. It's, it's a, it, it goes through deep through this, the um, citric acid cycle in the body, and, and but it's a pathway that is very important that uh, I'd highly recommend you looking at if you're having trouble with patients and so on. The Optiadrenal is a great formula to use with it. So these are just accessory formulas I wanted to mention. The Optiadrenal, the digestion between meals, the help with the blood sludge, longevity for whole food, vitamin D and CoQ10, and of course the EFA, especially with the brand new research out on it being a plant-based essential fatty acid. So um, we're doing a uh, webinar special if uh, health professionals uh, for you. If you would, uh, if you want to call in over the next two days, anytime this week, so tomorrow or Friday, and just mention the, the code word NOS. Uh, it stands for nitric oxide special, uh, your little NOS. Um, you'll be able to get 20% uh, off of uh, those formulas uh, when ordering. So just mention the special. If you forget the code name NOS, just tell the the, the sales rep and they'll help you out is uh, they're familiar with this. I wanted to um, uh, thank you all for uh, listening to me tonight. Um, I'm going to turn the time over for a few minutes uh, to Clark Tilly of Thrive to talk about how you can implement this a little more and then I'd like to invite if Dr. John is on uh, to maybe say a few words also uh, his thoughts on the nitric oxide a factor here and uh, we're really excited to be able to share with you hopefully this new information. I, I'm hoping that uh, most of you aren't familiar with these new pathways that we've been using in the professional sports world that's so critical to use with, with our patients and that, that this can be a benefit for you and I highly recommend you try it out even on yourself. You're going to see a tremendous benefit of circulation. Thanks Doug. I, I will run here for a minute and turn it over to Clark. I wanted to highlight a couple of things I, I'm getting emails every day with people that are listening to webinars say, wow, this is the greatest series that you've ever done or we've ever heard. We really appreciate it. And we want you to know every week to every other week, we are having one thing after another all tied together. That's all a preliminary that will come to a head at the last week in January in Phoenix when we do the Homecoming Integrative Functional Medicine Seminar. We're having the speakers that are going to be there. Now, I want you to see the correlation of what we've done the last little while. We have Jonathan Walker on next Tuesday. I want to say it again. Jonathan Walker increased one of our Brimhall certified doctors' income in one month, $70,000, teaching him the peripheral neuropathy protocol that Jonathan has developed. You don't even have to go to a seminar. He's nailed it down, and he has it into a uh, free package you can get and study it at home, Then he'll go over that at homecoming a great deal. Uh, Dr. Childs has been an incredible asset to us, and he encouraged Doug and I to go ahead with this product because of all the research he has seen blending the three amino acids together that magnified the, the increased productivity of nitric oxide. Uh, we have Dennis Pick that's coming on this year who's uh, a great teacher and took over from Dr. Boyd in the, in the biocranial technique that I'm certified in and I love. Uh, we had the Beamer on uh, last week or two weeks ago and it's the largest attendance we've, we've had. Over, we had over 200 people register to get in. I understood some people had a hard time getting in, but it was amazing, and the results are, are beyond my uh, comprehension. Uh, you would never hear me say this before in, in my lifetime, that it's the most powerful unit I have ever used, including lasers and large PMFs and everything I've ever used by increasing microcirculation to the body. So if you missed that Beamer webinar, go back and look at the last puzzle pieces. We're going to have Joshua Berker, Berka at one of the seminar or webinars real soon and he will be at homecoming and he is one of the world's leading authorities on microcirculation. Now nitric oxide helps all circulation. The Beamer type wavelength is actually increases in peak 40 times before it reaches its wave and that increases the microcirculation along with our nitric oxide product 
and then the fruits and veggies increases the mitochondria. And the Beamer increases ATP, and they're doing studies now to see how much mitochondrial resuscitation is improved through it. Now, if it sounds like I'm talking in circle, it's an exact circle. Peripheral neuropathy has helped with nitric oxide or, or optinitric. Peripheral neuropathy has helped with the Beamer. Peripheral neuropathy has helped with LED. Peripheral neuropathy has helped with the Beamer. There, out of 41 cases that they did that were scheduled for amputation of the leg post diabetic complications, all 41 had to cancel the surgery. So with OptiNitric, the LED, the laser, and everything that we're doing, we can write a new script in history. So please get excited. Uh, Dr. Smaldone is going to be with us at homecoming as well, teaching us the taping techniques. He's both an athlete trainer and a chiropractor. Dr. Van Merkel is going to give us all the latest updated research and how to test and, and uh, know how to understand the interpretation of blood analysis. So it's going to be an exciting uh, end of the year and the beginning of the first next year. And one of the major things that we have going for us is we have a way of educating you and your patients step by step. So, Clark, let's turn that over to you to tell us a little bit more about Thrive. Great. You can hear me okay? Yes, sir. Loud and clear. Wonderful. Once again, great to be with you, doctors. Uh, it's really exciting, all of these great things that we have uh, going for you. It takes a lot of things uh, to make an uh, uh, what we call an optimal clinic. And uh, we're trying to work uh, with Dr. John, Doug Grant, and others in helping you uh, have all of those tools at your fingertips. The Thrive system is part of that. <clears throat> We've learned that educated patients are the ones who really act. That's how uh, why you have a wonderful career that you have is because of these wonderful patients that you treat and help heal, um, pay you for your services. <clears throat> the more and better that we can educate them, uh, the more they respond. And that's why the Thrive System was created. Again, the criticalness of education. And uh, there's lots of ways that we work with you in educating your patient base within your office as well as away from your office. It is just absolutely a, a key piece. And as I, I'll show you here in a minute, offices that are using the system are generating a lot more revenue because they simply are being able to better educate the patient. The system, again, uh, what you should be interested in is uh, your finances now and in the future <clears throat> and what you're able to put away uh, for your future. Uh, we talked a lot about systems and reporting. Uh, we must be system driven, as Dr. John likes to say. Other business people, uh, we must be data driven in our decision making. And again, trying to make this connection with you as doctors is that you use all kinds of uh, data to gain knowledge about what's happening with a patient and how you can help heal them. And your business is no different. Your business is a, is a living, breathing thing that those who understand it have wonderful, healthy businesses, and those who don't sometimes are just good doctors, but they don't last because they haven't figured out how to run a good, strong business, and you're only doing this one time. This is your career. You've got to make the best of it in the years that you're in it so that you're not like one of the dear doctors that I met with about six months ago here in my town uh, who had been a, a doctor for 40 years, much like Dr. John, and uh, he's 80 years old and came to me and said, Clark, help me. I need to generate revenue. I don't I don't really have any retirement left and I still have a lot of years and need some help. And uh, so don't let that happen to you. <clears throat> this is really important, as important as the things you learn tonight with nutrition and all of those great things. Your business is just as important and needs a piece of your attention and we can help you with that. So here, knowledge is power. This is a false statement by Napoleon Hill here in Think and Grow Rich. Knowledge is potential power. It becomes power only when and if it is organized into definite plans of action and directed to a definite end. This is exactly what you doctors do 
when you're helping patients heal? Well, we have to apply the same principles to your business so it can be strong and healthy. So please don't overlook the importance of this piece and this tool. As we're taking data and charting different doctors, different offices, we have just overwhelming data that shows that those offices that have a system in place uh, do a lot more revenue than those that don't. Uh, obviously, if you're a Dr. John doctor, it just means you're a better doctor than some of the other doctors and get a lot better results. And so, again, with the system, uh, those offices are able to magnify those efforts. Uh, Non-Dr. John offices, still significant increase in revenues with a system. So just really important to understand Plugging a system into what you do can make an incredible difference revenue-wise. Here's a, a good doctor that we work with back in Georgia. He sent me this screenshot from his uh, the response that happened in his office with nutritional sales from here you see the low numbers across the bottom, which is his numbers before the system went in place in his office, the Thrive system, and then what it jumped to once he started using it. And it's a combination of several things tied with the system. So again, uh, there's methods that we use in patient education. Uh, our system is able to read data out of yours. I'm just gonna kind of read this slide so I hopefully you can stay with me here. But Thrive helps convert prospects to patients. The Thrive system monitors your patients' appointment activities and sends specific automated emails triggered when the office staff schedules the appointment in your practice management system or Cairo Touch, Eclipse, Metasoft, et cetera, whatever you use, these automated emails go out. This is one of the, uh, uh, I like to say, magic pieces of the Thrive system that makes it so that you don't have another iron on your plate or another bale on your wagon to have to deal with and manage. The Thrive system manages itself and is all automated so that it, your staff or you don't have to manage the system to make all of these things and educate your patients happen. We use weekly what we call edge mails, just educational email. You'll see at the top, these are emails that go out. They have your logo on it. We have video content. We highlight supplements, uh, give promotions that you'd like to give out. Uh, we have patient survey forms, re refer a friend forms. These are just more in detail. We have read more buttons. This whole piece is engineered or built with studies in the marketplace. How do you connect with people? How do you share a message? How do you educate? So this whole system has been built on that premises with data from lots and lots of studies in the marketplace in how do you deliver information that people will connect with and actually read and not just get rid of or skip over. Again, we have lots of video. Doug and others provide video on the different health topics and supplements that we're able to share, testimonials, uh, highlighting, again, the nutrition, promotions, Obviously, we want to educate your patient base on other things that you do. Maybe if your patient's coming in for a certain thing you do, like back pain, maybe they don't know you can help with allergies or with autoimmune disease. And again, that's just education, helping them understand. So we like to try to educate them on other areas of health so that they can understand you can help them with all kinds of things. We highlight services. Uh, we have video uh, uh, uh that highlights different therapies that you might have in your office. Lots of ways to be able to connect. Again, I mentioned this uh, feedback so patients can give the uh, share with you what the experience that they've had in your office. Uh, refer a friend uh, comes up with a landing page. This makes it great and really easy and convenient. Once a person fills this out and hits submit, it sends an email to the person that they want to refer. In that email will have your website link in it. It'll have uh, an offer. It'll have the com my comments if I'm referring someone. 
So it makes it really easy to be able to share your message and the experiences your patients are having with their friends and loved ones. <clears throat> we also have ways that we're able to send text message uh, links and be able to have uh, people that don't have emails also connect with these educational emails, again, coming out of your office. Now let's kind of highlight revenue generation. Um, this is a big study that marketers use all the time. Studies show that 40% of the former, of your former customers, here patients, will buy again if they're nurtured properly over time. Well, is that true? And so as we put our system in play in some of our very first offices represented here in blue, orange, and green, different size of offices. If you see here in the middle where my cursor is, 1600 is the amount of inactive patients in the database of the doctor that they'd seen over the years. You notice here in the middle is 2800 and here's a smaller office 150 but regardless of the size as we send out email or educational email edge mail as we like to call it people responded to those came back into the office this uh, middle office the orange office uh, and this is not just a projection but actually brought in over a hundred thousand dollars as we track that from this group of people coming back into the office. Uh, so it's a, it's a system to be able to connect. Lots of you may have different email systems that you can do an email blast from time to time. This is nothing like that and I'm not talking anything about that. You don't get the kind of results to connect and educate people with a, an occasional email blast. It also has to do in our world with email open rates. How many people will actually open and read what you have? National averages are about 12%. We get 20 to 30 and sometimes higher. Some of our email gets 70% open rate. It has to do with content is king, is still true, and lots of powerful ways that really do connect with people. Uh, this couple of studies here in out there is about supplement sales. We're talking about supplements tonight. But 70% of Americans are taking dietary supplements. So the question we like to say is if if you're not if your patients are not purchasing supplements from you, they're still purchasing supplements, just not from you. They're just purchasing everywhere else. Well, this can be a, a huge revenue stream in your office and when i say huge i really do mean potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars in a system that you're able to put into your office most of you probably do conditional nutrition meaning a patient comes in they have a problem you say you need this and this and this they stay on that with you for two months three months six months whatever your average treatment plan is and then you help them heal. They're feeling great. They're out of pain. Everything is going better for them. And they leave your office because you helped them heal. Well, most offices don't have a system to be able to sell to that patient after they're gone. Most patients don't come back into the office and buy. So you run a conditional program. Well, the majority of Americans are buying essential programs, daily essential programs. So we can help you implement not only the conditional program, but really amplify that daily essential program so that what we like to say is selling nutrition to your patient for life, not just three months, not just six months or whatever time they're in your office, but to sell nutrition to your patient for life. The slide that you see here now are offices around the country uh, and some of the nutritional sales that they have. You notice here at the top in red, 30-day patient appointments. This is just to give you an idea of the size of these offices and maybe compare with your office. How many patient appointments do you have in a 30-day time frame? Here's an office in uh, back east, 366. Uh, last year, 2014, did 865,000 in nutritional sales. Uh, this doctor said he's well uh, over a million dollars this year. Uh, so what is your potential? Uh, 
these some of these offices that we work with, you see their potential. And after we've met with them, we've uh, shown them the system. We've shown them what the potential is. Some of their new goals, you see a million dollars in nutrition sales in one year. Even some of the smaller offices, 102 patients in a 30-day period doing $300,000. So again, you can get an idea here of what is your potential, what are you currently doing, and what could you be doing to add that piece to your office. Again, I mentioned to you earlier, uh, Dr. Lindsay, this is a different one. This is from do uh, a doctor of Doug Grant's. Age 68, I would be making over $27,000 a month if only 5% of my patients still bought a couple of products a month. So here's one of my offices. Uh, as we're tracking these numbers, he loses 585 patients, complete his treatment program, and don't come back in during that year period that we tracked this. So he's losing 585 patients. If he was able to just keep 5% on buying $150 a month, which is a daily nutritional essential budget, that's $52,000 a year. You multiply that by how many years that you're going to be in business and consider how significant. Well, what if we could keep 50% on because we put a system in place? Because during the three or six months that they're in your office, we can educate them and help them understand how powerful this nutrition is and how it's helping them and how good this OHS product is. Well, we can keep a whole lot more than 5%. And then lastly, reporting. How do we find out where your office is and where are the growth opportunities, I like to say. In health, you're going to say, you know, they're having these symptoms of health problems. Well, what are those, what are those health problems in your office and how do you have any idea if we don't have some way to report and track so that we can then adjust that. Here's a quote, when performance is measured, performance improves. When performance is measured and reported, the rate of improvement accelerates. So different type of reporting. When you join the Thrive family, uh, you have a reporting portal and you can log on and it shows your office stats in a lot of different ways. And we're trying to really hone this in to give you uh, actionable uh, reports, things that you can make good business decisions on. Uh, and here's a couple just to highlight. Uh, new patients that are coming into this particular doctor's office, 73% almost of that brand new patient is opening that first email that comes out of your office. How critical is that first email to make a connection? These are people that still are not your patient. They're still kicking the tires to see if you're the right fit for them. So a very high percentage are opening that email. How important is that email that we make connection with them so that they do become actually paying patients? Part of our system is a reminder system. Lots of systems have that. Uh, that's part of our system. You can see how much people interact with the reporting. Almost 80% of people are opening their appointment reminders. And notice how many are going back to that appointment reminder email, 257%. Uh, uh, so that group of people go back multiple times, just checking and making sure they know when their appointments are. Here's an important stat, uh, prospect conversion. Of the people that call your office and schedule that first appointment, do you know how many of them actually become paying patients? Most doctors think it's 78 or 80 percent. The reality is it's about 50 percent. Well, I have offices that I work with that do 100 percent conversion for the last four months. Now, that office is really rare, but uh, the, the, a lot of them are doing 80 percent. I have many offices doing 90 percent and too many doing 50% and a few lower than that. Well, what are you doing? What's your office doing? How many people that call in don't even show up for their first appointment? In this office, it's about 25%. And as we're tracking this, you might be shocked, but the average office is about 20% of no-shows that never show up. Why? How can we improve that? What needs to happen at the front office phone call? 
What needs to happen with that first email? Uh, this stat, 12, got stuck in the process. So they came in for that first or second appointment, but they never followed up with a follow-up appointment to become a paying patient. Why? Do you know why? Is it, they don't, their finances, uh, all kinds of reasons people have, but do you know why in your office? And then here, 21%, or I mean rather 21, just under 50% actually of those that called in became paying patients. Well, what are your numbers? If you don't know your numbers, how can you improve your numbers? If so much in chiropractic, you, you get referrals from, and that's your highest place to get people in the office. Most businesses spend a third of their budget on marketing. Well, your marketing is almost done for you through referral. You get them in, you get them to the door, but now we have to have such a great process in place so that we get them to pay for what we're offering. So that's one of the challenges in chiropractic that I see over and over and over and over and over. Uh, here's an important one. How about if email is our golden key to educate people? And some of you might be skeptical about that, but there's studies everywhere, and we personally can prove it, that that people respond still in our world today with email. It still works. So if email is a golden key, don't you want to know how many emails you're getting from your patients so that you can continue to nurture them and educate them and sell nutrition to them for life? So that's an important one. So different emails or statistics that, like that that show Here's another one, uh, and again, we have several like this. Again, we want to show you a heartbeat of what's happening in your office. Uh, this one uh, here at the top, any date range that you want to select, number two, how many appointments or the type of appointments that you have in your office and the numbers of those that are happening, total patient seen, total services completed, and if you have more than one provider in your office, it breaks down Who's doing what in your office? I mentioned this one already to you. So again, we have appointment reminders. This system works with 24 hours before they get an email reminder, an hour before they get a text reminder. We have the ability to send a double re text reminder. Uh, we can move these anywhere. If you wanna do a two day ahead of time or a four hour, uh, there's flexibility in the timing of when you want to send this out to your patients. Dr. Lavender, no-shows have dramatically reduced since implementing the Thrive system. We hear that all the time. So in all of this, there's a process. There's a system that if you implement the system, the system can work for you. And um, the program is <clears throat> $249 a month. There are no contracts. It's a month-to-month -month relationship. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee. We try it out from the time you go live. You say, Clark, it doesn't do what you say. Then we give your money back. Obviously, uh, we can do this. We can offer this to you because we do get results. The system does work. And uh, we'd love to get you on and have you try it out uh, and, and so that you can see the, the difference in what a system can do in your office. So again, thank you very much, Dr. John. I'll turn it back to you if you happen to still be there to close this out. Uh, um, this is Doug. I'll say a little something just to close out. Um, I'm getting a lot of emails uh, since we've lost uh, launched Optin Nitric about a lot of uh, benefits people are getting in that. And uh, go ahead and as you get the benefits, please send results from, you know, patients and stuff on cardiovascular uh, benefits and everything to us. Uh, but the other performance issues, go ahead and keep to yourself. Uh, we know they're huge and they're beneficial uh, with all blood flow, but uh, I say that just jokingly because of the benefits of the nitric oxide that we're talking about tonight. And I just want to close with letting everyone know that this is a complete circle, as Dr. John said that if we can help your clinics teach nutrition at a higher level, uh, learn about these important principles like nitric oxide and the conversion of arginine and nitrate to the nitric oxide and into systems in your clinics to help you be able to educate your patients better, 
and the different testing systems and leading a professional being able to teach you about the different things that are out there that Dr. John has, uh, that this complete circle comes about so that you can just be an optimal clinic, that you're able to achieve great results and be able to work at higher levels. So we really appreciate your time and the fact that uh, uh, hopefully you understand the holistic uh, approach we have here versus companies that just sell supplements or companies that just sell machines or lecture companies or just companies that help you with the um, systems to, with being organized and with your marketing in your clinic, that it's a complete package to help you and we hope that you'll pick and choose what you want or if you want the whole thing, come on with an optimal clinic package and so that we can help you from all angles, from Dr. Brimhall's expertise and years of experience and thrives and also us here at Optimal Health. So have a great night, doctors, and uh, take advantage of the NOS special, uh, the, the 20% discount off wholesale for the next two 